One introduction this paper examines the use of the International Baccalaureate IB, approach to education as part of an applied learning project that involved producing animated historical films. The films, which were produced as a joint public-private initiative of Bunsei University of Art, the author's home institution, the Ashikaga City Tourism Association, and external experts, were designed as cultural resources for a regional community. Specifically, the project aimed to produce animations that would be shown at tourism events in Ashikaga City and serve as historical education tools. A total of three animations were produced over the course of the three years from 2019 to 2021. One of these films, The Legend of Yoshi Kane, A Tale from Ashikaga, which depicted the historical figure Ashikaga Yoshi Kane, four claimed awards in two categories at a United States Film Festival. Five It was the only animated work from Japan to be selected for an award and earned widespread media attention, generating measurable economic effects, with an ad value equivalency of approximately 21.4 million yen, or over 147,000 US dollars, six and benefiting the regional city of Ashikaga. As teachers on the project, we listened closely to individual students' ambitions and aspirations, learned with them, encouraged them, and created a student-centered learning environment. We noted that in this setting, students developed their own initiative to engage strongly with the project. A variety of experiential learning activities and group work was incorporated to cultivate students' capacity to solve problems in cooperation with the regional community. The benefits that the animation project ultimately brought to the community can be viewed as a result of the mutual respect and teamwork that developed among the different project members including students, teachers, external experts, the Ashikaga City Tourism Association, and volunteers and their collaborative utilization of each contributor's varied skills and strengths. Reflecting on the production process, we posit that by engaging with difficulties, learning, and taking on new challenges alongside our students, both we and our pupils grew as a result. This paper sets out our prototype for an applied animation group work project so that it may be utilized further by others. The project described here saw students earn international recognition for an animated film that they created as part of a larger team, with the goal of contributing to a community. A key reason for the project's success can be traced to students' sense of the cultural foundations of their own identities, which enabled us to source educational materials from the plentiful cultural heritage to be found throughout Japan. We hope that this kind of project will be implemented by others in the future and see students' learning activities bring new life to their communities. To education in Japan and its shortcomings most of the university students that we teach have spent the greater part of their lives in a passive educational environment. Although Japanese private schools practice a variety of educational methods centered on the individual, and public schools have in recent years added initiatives such as active learning and integrated study time dash which emphasizes student-led, cross-disciplinary problem solving to the curriculum, classes remain focused on preparing students for the standardized university admissions test, which means that they are ultimately teacher-centered. In this kind of learning environment, passive study accounts for the overwhelming majority of children's time in education, with significant impacts on students. As Paulo Freire remarked, after years in passive classrooms, students do not see themselves as people who can transform knowledge and society. In reality, students differ in personality and personal background. This diversity calls for replacing fixed educational systems and a rigid curriculum with student-centered curricula that cater to students' individuality. However, there are few examples of such trends in Japan. The goal of education is to empower students to respond flexibly to different situations and motivate themselves to learn so that they can independently find ways of working with others to complete meaningful endeavors. Educators must provide encouragement by helping students understand that their talents and abilities can be improved upon through study, effort, and perseverance. 3. IB Education The International Baccalaureate IB, is an international educational program that aims to develop inquiring, knowledgeable and caring young people who help to create a better and more peaceful world through education that builds intercultural understanding and respect. 
These programs encourage students across the world to become active, compassionate, and lifelong learners who understand that other people, with their differences, can also be right. Administered by the Swiss-founded International Baccalaureate Organization, one of the program's educational guidelines is to develop independent problem solvers. In Japan, recent years have seen rapidly growing interest in IB education, spurred by the Japan Business Federation's identification of the program as one of its mid- to long-term strategies for fostering globally-minded talent now recognized as an increasingly critical resource for many companies as well as for building Japan's influence internationally. Japan's Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science, and Technology responded by issuing recommendations geared toward the introduction and expansion of IB programs, adding further impetus to the movement. All educators would doubtless agree with the text of the IB Learner Profile in Figure 1, but these principles must somehow be applied in actual educational practice. For the community-focused historical animation project described here, we designed and implemented a student-centered curriculum to develop students' capabilities in line with the IB Learner Profile. For problem-solving in cooperation with local communities the American philosopher John Dewey 14 defined education as a process of the participation of the individual in the social consciousness of the race. 15 As such, education must be enacted in the knowledge that students are social beings. It is part of a process that begins at birth as the child unconsciously acquires and gradually develops its knowledge, shares ideas with others, and participates in society. The plan for the current project required students to work with a local government and play a role in community events. This structure gave students a socially relevant task to achieve through their own efforts, providing a catalyst for them to explore a variety of different knowledge areas. In this way, students could apply their potential to the fullest in a way that benefited a larger group. The community that we partnered with was the city of Ashikaga, located approximately 80 kilometers north of Tokyo, which faces several pressing issues in the form of falling tourist numbers, population decline, and difficulty passing on the city's rich cultural heritage to the younger generation. Through discussion with the Ashikaga City Tourism Association about how to solve these problems, we developed a plan to create short animated films that would highlight and enrich the city's culture. The production would involve students and teachers as well as outside experts, the local tourism association, and volunteer participants. A nighttime illumination event, Ashikaga Ikari Monogatari, Ashikaga Tale of Lights, was identified as a setting to showcase the films. The goal of our activities in this initial stage was to prepare for the production phase by examining animation with our students in terms of its broader significance and trying to understand its place in the larger context of society. Additionally, through a process of considering and discussing students' individual histories and experiences, it became possible to select themes that reflected our learners' personal connections and interests. By incorporating students' unique knowledge, enthusiasms, and life experience into activities in this way, teachers can provide opportunities for students to examine themselves from multiple perspectives, boosting their motivation to engage with academic tasks and ultimately increasing the likelihood of success. Throughout the process, teachers must scrutinize their expectations for students and be careful to acknowledge how those expectations might hamper students' development. For instance, a teacher who believes that good students listen attentively and do as they are told is likely to do all the talking and rob class members of the opportunity to speak. By recognizing and reflecting on these beliefs, teachers can embark on the project with a sense of respect for students' individual worth. 5. Applying IB Education, Student-Centered Pedagogy, to an Animation Project 5 to 1. Building self-efficacy 18 and trust through targeted conversations when lessons begin, the teacher talks with each student in order to identify their aspirations, hopes, and goals for the future, as well as their particular talents and areas of interest. Many students have likely grown up waiting for instructions from their teachers, with limited opportunities to express their opinions freely. At this stage of the project, Teachers need to find out about students' current circumstances, their strengths, and which activities are most suitable for them to work on. For example, 
students with a keen interest in how things move can engage primarily with the parts of the animation production involving movement. For students whose previous environments discouraged them from voicing their opinions, teachers can hope to elicit more information by sharing their own mistakes and shortcomings. Teachers also have an ethical responsibility to be respectful in their treatment of the information they hear from students. When teachers clearly communicate their expectations and deliver proactive recognition and encouragement, they can nudge students toward taking appropriate actions, improve class members' self-efficacy, establish a constructive learning environment, and forge positive relationships with their pupils. 5 to 2 Fostering independence by having students make the rules Students take the central role in creating mutually beneficial rules for the project. The teacher's job is to act as a facilitator in the discussion. 20 This approach encourages students to take responsibility for their own behavior, as well as ensuring that they understand what is expected of them and preventing bad conduct. An example of this is adopting a rule that allows students with long commute times to participate in group meetings online. When teachers show approval for rules that allow students to make the best use of their time, students can commence work on the project in the knowledge that their instructor trusts them. For the current project, students included a rule permitting group meetings to be held online in some cases. The rule enabled the class to use limited time effectively, freeing them to try out and perfect the most complicated, difficult, and time-consuming forms of expression that appear in the finished films. Sample Rules 1. Positive thinking leads to positive results. 2. Try new things and be creative. 3. Respect yourself and others. 4. Work toward goals as a responsible member of the team. 5. Clean up. Before explaining specific rules and procedures to students, it is useful to have a conversation with them about the role of rules and procedures as a factor in many real-life situations. Particularly for students who are preparing to take on adult responsibilities, they must learn to step away from the notion of rules and procedures as abstract concepts and learn to create specific rules for themselves. Once the need for rulemaking has been established, the teacher can present and explain a list of class rules. Next. The teacher asks students to suggest possible alternatives, additions, and omissions. When opinions diverge, ample time should be given for the class to consider the issues in depth. The ultimate goal is to come up with a set of rules upon which all members of the group agree, however, when a compromise cannot be reached, the instructor has the final say. Crucially, the teacher must communicate their respect for students' perspectives and opinions. The final version of the rules should be prominently displayed in the classroom so that they can be referred to at any time. They should be reviewed before and after the class does any group activity, with time set aside to talk over how effective the rules have been and record the results of these discussions. The objective here is to establish consistency at the earliest possible stage. At each session, before starting work on the day's tasks, Group members review their prior discussion of the rules and check in to determine what aspects of the project are going well and what needs improvement. The teacher continuously observes the class's activities in relation to the rules and procedures for the production, providing constructive, on-the-spot feedback. Ideally, students should be guided to reflect on past failures and successes and consider both how they can avoid making similar mistakes and what they can do to achieve their goals. Thinking about past experiences motivates students to set, understand, and follow their own rules. Learners who can create rules that serve their own dreams and aspirations develop a more profound understanding of the tasks or problems ahead of them and their own expectations. This understanding fosters a sense of responsibility that empowers students to independently take on new challenges. Meanwhile, when students attempt something new with poor results, Teachers must be mindful to provide praise and positive feedback instead of viewing it as a failure. It is by assigning value to students' continued efforts despite setbacks not by rewarding them for following instructions that teachers can support an active learning environment where every member of the group is willing to take on new challenges. In such an environment, the group evaluates failures with affirmation, which improves their ultimate chances of success. 5-3 Experiential Learning 
one real life experiences and observational learning heighten student motivation according to Dewey, if knowledge comes from the impressions made upon us by natural objects, it is impossible to procure knowledge without the use of objects which impress the mind. For education to be most effective, students must deepen their relationship with new information by connecting it to past experiences. These experiences have been defined as the possible learning experiential encounters that learners would engage themselves in inside or outside the classroom. All interactions that students are exposed to, in an academic environment, can be considered part of their curriculum. The key point here is to focus on students' internal learning process. For the historical animation project, we as teachers join students in a variety of field trips to see and experience the objects of their learning. We made visits in the Ashikaga area to temples and shrines, museums, and other historical and cultural sites, went horseback riding, and toured a quail farm, since quails were an important motif in one of the films. Through these activities, students began connecting external historical and natural phenomena with their own personal histories, values, and experiences. They developed a more nuanced understanding of the relevant historical figures and time periods, thus gaining confidence to portray these aspects in their animated films. Additionally, students practiced observational learning by spending time and talking as equals with their teachers and external experts. Having witnessed the professionalism with which experts approached the project, as evident in their manner and actions, students likewise engaged in the production with a strong sense of purpose. Opportunities for observational learning help students to establish concrete benchmarks for concluding that their goals are achievable. When teachers acknowledge and encourage students' participation in observational learning, they are supporting students in discovering reasons to learn, leading to improved motivation. 5-4 to four Experiential Learning 2. Fostering communication skills through group work The next discrete group work activity was to create a concept and AMP, image board, Figure 2. For this process, each group member was to think independently and express their opinions freely. We used a large wall space to display and organize their remarks, ending up with a large body of ideas. The teacher's role was again to be a facilitator and establish an atmosphere conducive to creative thinking and open discussion. Concept and AMP, Image Board Procedure 1. Students research the historical figures and events that will be featured in the animated films, as well as the legends surrounding them. They also consider the relationship between this history and their own ancestors and ethnic-slash-cultural background. Two students analyze a variety of historical animations, films, paintings, literature, and customs from different countries. Each student comes up with their own initial image of what the final animated film will look like. Three students discuss the differences and similarities to be found in their individual histories, values, and experiences. They ask themselves why they feel the way they do and seek out aspects of the historical figures and stories with which they can identify. They will be asked to work on the stories and characters that they can identify with the most. Four teachers work with students to brainstorm ideas for the animation project. Students are encouraged to offer suggestions for turning concepts into a finished product. One student is chosen to write down the key ideas, which are displayed on the wall and discussed. Key ideas could include the plot, characters, themes, setting, colors, images, morals-slash-messages, emotions, how the story ends, etc. 5. Related documents, visual materials, etc that complement the key ideas can be added to the wall. Any modifications are welcome that help the group to represent and share their concept for project at a glance. 6. Use the concept and AMP, image board as a basis for creative discussion. Students continue to deliberate, reformulate their ideas, and improve on the initial concept. 7. Following a process of analysis and decision making, Students develop their idea for the film and put this in written form, which is then displayed on the wall in order from the beginning to the end. Eight students create a storyboard based on the concept and AMP, image board. For each part of the animation, students set individual goals for comprehension as well as for each stage of the animation workflow and for the final product. To reiterate, 
it is critical that every member of the group listens to others' opinions with a positive attitude. When students actively support and approve of the ideas that are put forward, the process of generating ideas and expanding upon them can continue. Ideas that initially seemed unimportant or off-point may, through the process of expansion, result in something new. The teacher continues to act as a facilitator as students develop and work on the concept and AMP image board. Their role is to pose questions that prompt students to consider the difference between statements made by individuals versus statements made by the group. Students learn to summarize points of debate, write down important unresolved issues, and add them to the wall as a visual aid to raise group members' awareness of these topics. Through the concept and AMP image board process, students become conscious of how their interpretations and understanding differ from one another. The group discusses, analyzes, and reflects on why these differences occur, learning about each other's personalities and thought processes more thoroughly. We found that, because the concept and AMP image board was present long term over the whole span of the project, it worked to build consensus naturally outside of actual group meetings, cultivating a sense of teamwork and fostering a cooperative dynamic that helps students reach their goals. 5 to 5 Solving Problems Through Critical Thinking to Freyer, Knowing Means Being an Active Subject Who Questions and Transforms. To learn is to recreate the way we see ourselves, our education, and our society. Critical thinking, as championed by Freyer, is one of the most powerful ways to educate students so that they become capable of solving problems for themselves. It can be defined as a logical and structured pattern of self-reflective, critical scrutiny, it describes the process of recognizing and objectively, analytically reconsidering the actions and thoughts that one normally performs unconsciously. The self-reflection component encompasses self-searching, contemplation, recognition, and insight. In this way it is an ongoing source of opportunities to discover new aspects of the self. Critical thinking is a complicated process that, by its nature, cannot be strictly prescribed. Rather, it is a way of challenging established behavior patterns and extracting new insights. In short, critical thinking is necessary in order to break free from habits and ideas that feel comfortable or normal. When we stop examining our daily lives, it is easy to overlook latent problems or even deliberately avoid seeing and acknowledging them. As a result, thinking stops and we lose the ability to address issues that could in principle be resolved. Freyer cautions that when we fail to recognize our own problems and take transformative action, we risk handing over our fate to others in the hope that one strong man can set the world aright instead of making the necessary changes ourselves. He also points out that the practice of critical thinking empowers individuals to free themselves from whatever restraints are in place and view themselves objectively. In this way, it becomes possible to take stock of current circumstances and make better plans for the future. When students engage in critical thinking, teachers should take care that students do not stop thinking and abandon their problem-solving efforts as soon as they have understood something and feel confident in their views. Simply telling students the answer may also cut their thought process short. The teacher's job in this case is to ask the kind of thought-provoking questions that students might come up with for themselves, acting as a problem poser who encourages students to ask their own questions. In this way, students learn to question answers rather than merely to answer questions. Teachers who are mindful of their role as a problem poser can assist students in thinking critically and holistically about whatever situation they are in, rather than simply deciding what the answer is without further examination. 6. Group work to encourage metacognition Students learn well when they are able to review their own learning and assess their current level of understanding. This is possible through metacognition, i.e., thinking about one's own cognitive processes. In education, Metacognition involves planning, observing, and evaluating one's learning and performance. Students set their own goals, find out how they learn best, and gauge their progress. Through this kind of self-reflection, students take responsibility for their own learning. We reviewed the current project in its entirety with a view to identifying the kinds of group work that can can be applied in the future to foster students' metacognitive abilities. The results 
with relevant references, are summarized below as a prototype for other educators to use in their own projects. Animation Project Group Work 1 Ask students questions to learn about what special abilities they may have and the subject areas where they might thrive. 2. Talk to students about the fundamentals of creativity. Explain that being creative requires risk-taking, when progressing in one's field, rejection often comes before acclaim. They may experience both successes and failures, but the important thing is to keep working persistently. 3. Introduce students to relevant animation directors, historical figures, and writers. Discuss with students about the fundamentals of creative endeavors. 4. To assist students in putting their knowledge to the best use, present them with a rubric, Figure 3, that sets out effective communication, research, planning, and other relevant skills. 5. Work with students to brainstorm ideas for the animation project. Solicit suggestions from students about how to bring the project from the concept stage to completion. 6. Within smaller project groups, Students set individual goals for understanding, project tasks, and the completed film, then work toward these goals. Seven teachers provide guidance based not just on each group's status, but on individual students' level of comprehension and progress on tasks. Students also assess each other's work on the basis of the rubric and members' personal goals. By analyzing the results of this assessment, Students can maximize their successes and learn from each other's mistakes. 8. Lastly, each group presents its animation and the whole class reviews it. The work is assessed by students as well as the teacher or teachers. At the conclusion of the project, students also assess their teachers. This process guides the teacher to make improvements and develop students' metacognitive abilities. 7. Conclusion Utilizing the IB Educational Method this project saw students explore the cultural foundations of their identities, embrace cultural resources as education material, work with their teachers to identify local community issues, and produce animated films as a cultural asset to help address those issues. The finished films were the product of a collaborative effort between students, teachers, external experts, the Ashikaga City Tourism Association, and volunteers, each offering their particular skills and abilities in a spirit of mutual respect. The project ultimately earned international recognition, with one of the films taking home an award of merit in both the animation and historical slash biography categories at the IndieFest Film Awards in the United States. There was also a measurable financial impact, quantified as an ad value equivalency of 21.4 million yen, over 147,000 US dollars. The film has continued to serve the community in other ways, with screenings at a museum exhibit, 38 on local television, over 50 broadcasts, and at lecture events hosted by the Ashikaga Women's History Association and in the nearby city of Utsunomiya. Students demonstrated a sense of personal responsibility for the project and actively challenged themselves. We believe this was a result of the teachers listening attentively to individual students' dreams and ambitions learning with them, providing encouragement, establishing a student-centered learning environment, and guiding students to set their own learning goals. The attitude that students develop through this process is one that they can take with them for life, forming a basis for whatever activities they undertake in the future. Students discovered another kind of philosophy in the lives of the historical figures who featured in the animated films, particularly in the tale of Yoshikane Samurai turned monk writing his last words in his own blood. This final message to future generations, which urged the people of Ashikaga to combine their strengths and work together, became a touchstone for all the members of the production team. Likewise, as educators, we hope that this community-building animation project will serve as an opportunity for us to join forces with teachers in local regions throughout Japan, continue sharing such projects with audiences in other countries, and help revitalize local communities as a result. This paper has examined the successful application of IB education to a project that fulfilled its goal of enhancing the community, driven by students' self-motivated efforts. Students engaged in the project with a culturally rooted sense of self while cultivating a nuanced understanding of others, 
learning to critically observe, compare, and be mindful of differences. Through this experience, students practiced metacognition and expanded their communication skills, preparing them to be lifelong learners who are bold enough to try new things 42 and tackle shared problems with a global perspective.